Okay, so this is just a quick tutorial about how to create a fold-out map in Cinema 4D. Start with a plane here. I'm going to scale it down. And the idea is that each of these planes, I'm going to create four of them, will be a panel of the fold-out map. So now I'm moving the origin. I'm going to do that with that little 90-degree arrow icon there. So I'm going to move it to kind of the center of where each of these panels is going to be. I'm going to make a copy. And for each copy I make, I'm going to make sure that the origin is in the same place as the, the last one, which will be different coordinate systems, but same location. Here's the third panel. I move its origin. You can see I'm using the inspector down there at the bottom to get the exact right coordinates. So I'm kind of dragging it to, to know what those coordinates are, but then I'm refining it down there in the dialog box. So now that I got my four panels, I want to, um, I set a keyframe here because I want to see kind of like what that animation looks like. And uh, so now I'm going to the starting frame and I'm gonna say, okay, it's gonna start up folded. And it's going to be something like this. I don't know exactly how it's going to fold out yet. Um, and you can see if you run that animation, it looks a little funny. It's kind of folding in on itself, but we'll fix that here. Um, so now I'm in Photoshop, and I'm going to load this map that I made. And it's just a real quick map I made in Illustrator. Load it in. And I want to divide this up into four panels. Um, and so what I'm doing here is I'm just changing the canvas size for each panel and anchoring it to the corner that it belongs to and just saving those pieces. So I did the top left as an anchor, the top right, bottom left, and bottom right. So now I've got those. I'm going to create a new material. I'm going to duplicate it four times. And for each of those materials, I'm going to load one of those textures. So, one, two, three, four. And then we're just applying them in order to the different panels. Now that I've got that, I can kind of see how it looks. And you'll notice I've got some like fuzziness there. And that's uh, something called Z fighting. And, and uh, I won't actually fix that in this tutorial, but it's basically because everything is oper operating on the same Z plane. Um, so it doesn't know which one to prioritize. So they're kind of like showing through. Um, but now here I am trying to figure out like how this thing will fold out in order so that it's not like covering itself up and setting those keyframes. So I've got two sides that have two motions and two sides that just have one which is to fold straight down so that those last two there just fold straight down the other two fold out first and that's what the animation looks like